chill, it looks like. Here we go. Here we go right for here. real. The close up shot. Here we go. Oh, what's gonna happen? Okay, the engine's lit. They lit, they lit, they lit. Is it gonna blow up? Oh, it's straighten up, straighten up, straighten up, straighten up, straighten up. Straighten up. Oh, there's an engine problem because that's the wrong color flames. Oh, it's slowed down. This is the best it's ever done. Oh my God, it's gonna do it. It's gonna do it. Holy hell, they finally did it. <laughs> <laughs> Third time's the charm. Come on, smoke, go away. <laughs> there it is. Just get out there and put out the fire. <laughs> I need some fire suppressors there. Yeah, the landing legs don't look like they work. So look at this, look at it, all the different angles. It's going to still blow up. <laughs> it's leaning pretty good, though. It's leaning. <laughs> the lean entire Boca Chica. <laughs> Freaking did it though, boy. First time in history, right there, boy. Another landmark made by Elon Musk and his great team. There's the suppressors coming on. Not much of one. This is going to be interesting. How stable is that, and how long can it stay in this position? This really shows it leaning backwards. Look at Jack's view here as well. A little bit more context. Well, they're still working on the leg system, but man, that's awesome. I'm going to add that. So important to remember the legs have built-in crush core, so they have the ability to absorb some shock, like a sort of suspension. So if it was a slight little faster... Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa! Oh, my God. There you go. There's your methane leak. Yes. <laughs> Folks. Boom. Wow. <laughs> And that's why we weren't running replays. Look at them boots. You ever seen that video? These boots are made for walking, huh? You know what we call those in Texas right there? We call those Port Aransas ropers. Down at the at the Port Aransas, Texas, where the shrimp boats come in. All the shrimpers are wearing white boots. Port Aransas ropers. Man, look at this. Look at this, man. I have my own lumber yard now. My own hardware store. Well, you need, you need to buy nails. I got nails, screws, pre-cut cocoa lumber, bamboo. Any size. Any size. What you doing over here in your Port Aransas shrimp boots? Huh? Port Aransas, Texas shrimp boots. See, I'm going to tell y'all right now, my wife is expensive. Well, hello everybody. Hope everyone out there is having a wonderful day. My day is mixed emotions. My uh, PLDT fiber has already went out on us. And uh, trying to reach PLDT to report it's not easy because they tell you dial uh, 171 from your landline. <laughs> but if your landline don't work, how you gonna dial that? And so uh, I, uh, I got a hold of the guy that was the salesman on it and he happens to live nearby. He come over and, and called PLDT trying to report the outage on it I just can't believe it's already out our neighbors are working it's just our line out and so uh, they're not really sure why but it turned into a little bit of a mess already uh, it's our very first bill it's not due yet and tried to pay the bill our account number is not recognized it's 
printed on their bill there, and it's the same number the guys gave me the day they installed the service. But account number not recognized. And then on the first bill, our address is some made up address I've never heard of before. We are uh, in a subdivision and we have a subdivision address in here and it's just some crazy fictitious made up don't exist address that's on our bill I, I, I just I don't understand how these companies that are so huge in this country can operate so just haphazardly and still be in business it is just uh it's mind-boggling. I, I can see just it's the same nightmares all over again. Come on, Elon Musk. That's all I can say. Come on, Elon Musk. Come on, come on. So, so uh, my my brother-in-law is looking for me just then, Miller. I I started to record a video for you guys earlier, and a glass company showed up. I uh, just now started recording, and another glass company showed up because I'm getting bids right now on glass so let me get with this one the second one in, in the past 30 minutes and I will follow up again so just met with two glass people in a row I tell you I uh, I hadn't even had a cup of coffee yet it's already after 9 in the morning <laughs> and from the time that I've got up it has been a busy busy morning here without a doubt my goodness so <laughs> I'm, my water that I even heated to make coffee has already turned cold. Yeah, it's one of them days, one of them days. Well, at least it's, it's some things happening. Um, I'm trying to get several prices on glass and I'm trying to price a couple different styles. Um, it, it's expensive, I'm gonna tell you. They, I don't know, that's why I'm gonna hit many places for this process. I mean, I, I want numerous places to bid it. I want to see if somebody comes through uh, with a reasonable quote or if I'm going to get hit hard by everybody. Because I'm going to tell you right now, I can ship in a small container. Yeah, I can even do a shared container. Melinda and I, we can ship stuff on a, uh, like a duty exempt process from the U.S. in a ship container. For, and, and put some of the furniture and stuff that we have in the U.S. that we're not going to be using that's actually going to end up in storage if we don't like just send it here. And uh, so I could ship a container and we can get a duty exempt on, um, you know, it's like when you're retiring here or ballot buying, returning and all. And I can buy UPVC, low E glass, uh, dual or triple pane. I can buy that in the U.S for what I need up there for under three thousand dollars and uh, when they're talking about hitting me at prices of man I, I mean ten to thirteen thousand dollars on some of that and and it's not even the quality that I want it it's it's substandard to what I would get in the US it would be single pane no low E you know, I mean, it's all this pretty steep prices. Well, those wouldn't take up that much, and they're already created well. They wouldn't take up that much room in a container, a container that we can send many other things here anyway. And I know how to get all that handled at a pretty reasonable rate from the U.S. So uh, I got to debate this. If they don't come up with somebody and give me a reasonable price, those openings will get formed and, and plywooded in until uh, I can send it from the U.S. And that's, that's just the, the way it is. And if I order them, and I order that like they're made in, in China and a couple other countries, and I order it in, and it comes here into the Philippines, then I have to pay a huge duty tax on that just ordering it in. But if I buy them in the U.S. and put them in a container and declare it with our stuff for transferring here, I don't have to pay all that. So uh, yeah, there's a lot of debates going on right now on all of that uh, glass across the back on here. So uh, we'll see, we'll see.
So we're starting to prepare the foundation for where the staircase is gonna come down off the back of the house right here. So I had them to remove a bunch of bamboo this morning, get that last form out of the way up there where you see that 16 mm come out with the staircase to tie on. And uh, they are making a little beam, a little perimeter beam where it's going. There'll be a little room underneath the staircase as well. And uh, they're gonna go ahead and set forms here now on it and tie the steel grid and get ready to pour that. They've been drilling over into the foundation over there as well. The existing patio they've been drilling into, putting, putting dials for uh, the rebar there. So you see, we can just use these existing forms again and again. This is one of the forms off the bottom of that beam right up there. And all we have to do is just uh, stick it here and use it as an instant form. That will help them get this form started. Man, Mel's cooking something over there. It smells good. Inside in here, let me show you what's going on in here. So inside in this first room today, I have got them uh, preparing in here. Joel's working on that to do some hollow blocking on the inside. So there will be a little hollow block in this house because we're gonna build the CR rooms with hollow block. There'll be a door opening right over here. And that's like a little small kitchenette right over there. And Miller's going around, chipping off concrete slag, cleaning up for finishing. Miller, we gotta get some right up there in that corner right there. There's a big piece in that corner up there. Oh, that see that piece in the corner? No, no, not that one. That one, yeah. Yeah, chip that out. Oh, oh, oh. yeah, I'll move my vehicle. Thank you for that. <laughs> Thank you for that so I don't have to choke later. <laughs> oh. It's just dirt on the walls here. Just dirt. That set behind the forms. That's actually all came out really nice. Just ready for finishing. All ready for finishing. <laughs> now we strip, we got a bunch of form boards stacked up there, ready to go up there and start forming upstairs. I just wanted to take time. This is all important to get the staircase started coming down back here. And it'll be a lot safer than that bamboo over there as well. It's all part of the puzzle. So I don't have it quite the way I want it. It was pretty sloppy. I come out here and make them straighten it up. They had that form there down with a three, four inches hanging down. I don't know why. I can't even answer you as to why. And uh, they got to chop these three pieces of steel off here now. This is like a room under. So there's no steel there. We gotta add a steel, add a steel. They gotta add about five pieces and remove three where they don't belong. Also, um, hey Marvin, they're gonna have to add add here also one and a half over, one and a half over. Yeah, because it's a wall coming up yeah. here. Yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Three, yeah. Four, yeah. Just four. leave it one and a half over. One and a half over. Super watery cements on the menu again today. Soup cement. It's like I just told them, it don't matter if you try to teach them 1,000 times. You're going to just keep repeating and they're just going to keep doing what they want to do. I, I tell you, if you just understood. And from the comments from the viewers, the people that experience this across this country, this is the same problem everywhere I can tell you another reason this ain't ready the steel's not supposed to be setting on the dirt it's supposed to have something underneath it don't pour that yet this is not supposed to be on the dirt the the steel will rust out from the bottom and rust all the way up You need to go get you need to go get some big stones, I guess, for now, and start putting underneath it. You just you just cannot go take a break or do something else. It's it's still it's still a babysit situation always. They have no memory. Uh, one of my subscribers said, "Blame it on the magic syrup that." It's the magic syrup that causes the memory loss. Same old, same old. Repeat, repeat, repeat. Don't pour that in there. Don't pour. I won't, not until I see this is corrected. All of this here is going to be sitting in the, in the dirt. I know it is. Okay. Okay, bro. Not really, because I'm looking at steel sitting right here. I'm looking at steel sitting on the dirt right here. If it touches the dirt, it rusts away from inside. Sitting on the dirt. Sitting on the dirt, no gap under. Sitting on the dirt, right here, right here. Sitting on the dirt. If you just walk away, no telling what you'll get. I'll tell you what you get. You'll get a house in about five, ten years that starts to crumble. You see, this is what I'm talking about. After we finish that upstairs pour, it's like the mind is just wiped clean. Wiped clean, and you're all the way back to zero again, starting all the way forward again. I just don't get it. You know, they say work smarter, not harder, but it's the opposite here. They work harder. They're hard workers, without a doubt. But they work harder than they have to because they cut corners that, in the end, has to just keep being corrected. Just caught some kids stealing our coconuts. Hey, uh, Melinda seen them, said something to them, they in order. I came out, and uh, one tried to hide. Another one was up the tree, but he came down super fast and uh grabbed his slippers and they took off running and joined another big group of kids down the beach and then they all took off if they don't get school open back up here Yeah, I'll
Okay. I'm not dead. Stressful or not, slab poured. Yeah, for the steps, it's poured. I had them put a smooth finish on it. Uh, I have a smooth finish on this concrete here too. So it's easy to sweep and clean. It don't hold the dust. You can really wash it away real easy. So I want that little room where it's real easy to sweep out. Happy for that. Now let me show you what else they're doing. That's the end of the day. It's been a tough one. I'll tell you what I had. Let me think about this. I had uh, this morning uh, two different PLDT guys here. Uh, luckily, they live not too far away, but one came, the salesman came, then the technician came. So I had to deal with that. Then I had uh, two different glass companies to come to measure and give bids. And uh, so I had to stop and deal with them. And uh, then boom, all of a sudden again, I had someone else to show up. And it was a guy delivering some papers to me from the city. And uh, I didn't even know he was coming. And I'm like, man, you know, just surprised, you know. <laughs> man, it was just back to back to back to back to back. And uh, I was like, man, I don't even know if I'm going to catch a breath here. Yeah, so it was definitely a busy morning. And in between, I'm trying to watch what these guys are doing. And then when they do come to work, if they do show up and they've been doing that heavy drinking, they're not in the mood to work. That They're in a grouchy mood. They're in a I don't care mood. That all they want to do is really just go home. And they're in slow motion, uncooperative, because they're hungover and they don't feel well. And so uh, I'm, I don't know how to combat it. Of course, if you hit them right hard on the nose with it, these guys, they'll just walk off on you. They'll just quit. Uh, that's that whole next thing dealing with the Filipinos. The Filipino pride. The Filipino pride. They don't want to be called out. So, uh, so then there you have that. So what I'm, I'm going to try is a test run as a little bit of positive encouragement. So um, when I was at Wilcon this past weekend, I went on Sunday and I went to Wilcon, took Melinda's oldest brother. He had never been in a big store like that. He'd been in a smaller home improvement store, but nothing big like Wilcon. He was pretty impressed. I bought some uh, tools there, bought numerous different tools. And I'm gonna have a drawing on payday and the only people that can draw for those tools is the people that were here for work every day. So if you missed work, you don't get to draw. And so that I hope that will give them not only some tools they could use for their trade, because I see some of them wore out pliers, wore out tape measures. I've gave away some tape measures and stuff. Wore out hammers, I've gave away hammers. But instead of just giving them away, I want to reward the people that deserve it so whoever it don't matter if you're a masoon or just a helper and that would be a carpenter or just a helper uh it doesn't matter which you are you're gonna all get to draw evenly and but you're excluded from drawing if you miss the day uh even a half day if you missed you can't draw 
So uh, we're going to see how that goes starting this payday, this upcoming, at the end of this week. And I've already told them. And I think the following weeks when it, maybe it'll really take effect. So we'll see. And maybe one week I might get a whole lot more tools than I got the previous week. They think, oh, I may not get hardly nothing. It ain't worth it. And then the next week they're going to find out they really missed out. So uh, we'll see. But that's how I'm going to handle it. All right. Well, it's the end of the day. And um, it was a busy day nonetheless. Busy, busy, busy day. And overall, I'm still happy um, that a lot still got done.